Hi guys, how you all doing today? Well, it's Derby Day. I don't think I need to build this match up for you any more than what I'm going to do anyway guys, but listen, it is Derby Day today. We are back at Leaf San Siro today. We're at Easter Road. It's first Derby of the season. Hibs against Hearts. You know, need we say more. Um, yeah, guys, I don't know how I feel about this. If this had been an Ian Cathro team that I was playing, it wouldn't be a question of if we are going to win. It would be a question of by how many. The difference, in Hearts have stabilised now and Hibs seem to be having a wee bit of a dip in form. We were really... It was disappointing to lose on Saturday there, even though I felt we played really well. That seems to be Hibs' problem the last, you know, little last couple of weeks really, is we're playing well, but we're not scoring the goals. Now, Derby's only about playing good football. Contrary to what anybody will tell you, Derby's are not about playing good football. Hibs want to play good football, which is where we fall. We haven't done in seven Edinburgh Derbys, over. I'm beating in seven Derbys, guys, so that's quite a good record for Hibs. I'm quite impressed. Um... But no, for me, a derby is, it's blood, it's thunder, it is getting stuck in, it's getting stuck in. It is totally, totally getting stuck in to the opponent. You know, you, you have to go in with that mentality. It's us and you. No Hibs and Hearts, no Rangers and Celtic, no whatever. It's us and it's you. You're not one of us, we're not one of you. It is a Casey when two tribes go to war. And that is that is the, the mentality that I think a lot of people have. It is when two tribes go to war. And that is, you know, that's a derby. That is a derby full on. Um, as I say, guys, you know, we're unbeaten in seven derbies, which, you know, is really good. It's really, really good. In the last derby that we played, we wiped the floor with hearts. We absolutely wiped the floor with them. We won 3 1 on the night. Goals from Jason Cummins, Grant Holt, and Andrew Shinney, all of whom have left and moved on to better, well, not to better things, but you know, it's a different story for a different day. But no, as I say, guys, when I look at the Hibs team and I see the. We do have big game players. If what I'm going on by. If I'm going on. If by what I'm going on is true, Stokes isn't playing tonight. Now, that to me could be a blessing, could be a curse. Anthony Stokes is one of these players that although he's so frustrating because he is such a good player, on his day he is such a good player and the next thing he's playing really shit but he'll score you a goal. But when he's playing shit and no scoring, he's really frustrating. So... If that's to be believed, uh, I've heard a lot of people say, well, who comes in? To me, you've got a ready-made replacement there in Simon Murray, <laughs> my brother for another mother, um, but Simon Murray should come in and fill in that void. And then on top of that, we've discovered that we've actually got an old bad wee striker in the mix already, and that's Ollie Shaw. Now, Ollie Shaw, I heard so much about Ollie Shaw from the youth team and everything like that leading up to this season, and my first instinct was... This lad, he's a player. This lad, he looks, he, he looks a player, he sounds a player. Do you know what? This lad, he could be a big thing. And he came out in the press at the start of the season and said, I'll fill the void left by Jason Cummins. Now, for me, that's confidence personified, right? He's not had, not had the best of starts. You know, he's only came on in, you know, a minute or two of games to go, you know, just running down the clock. So he's not really been able to... To conduct himself properly, well, on Saturday he changed that. He was on the park for 1 minute 47 seconds and he scored. It's his movement. It's his movement that's actually, you know, I'm, I'm quite impressed with. And I've always said that. He's got the movement. He's got a good football brain. You know, so... I mean, as I say, guys, we're, we're going to have to wait and see. Darby's tend to be one thing or another. Um, I, I, I'm expecting... A full on, full on derby tonight, fully blood and thunder. I'm not expecting a lot of football to be played. I'm not expecting a lot of quality football to be played. More importantly, I think it will be a game of few chances. I think it personally will come down to who fights most. And as I've shown in the last seven derbies, we are more than capable of standing up and being counted. Listen, 
every derby is the same. You always hope that you're going to win it. If you win it, it's a bonus. If you lose, it is the most horrendous feeling in the world. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go. Quickly do the rest of what I need to do before I go to Easter Road tonight. And we'll see what happens. But listen, if you're at Easter Road tonight, whether you're a hippie or a jambo, please enjoy the match. Enjoy the atmosphere. And for the first time, you know, the first time, it's not the first time I've said this. Certainly won't be the last time I'll say it. Just remember, guys, before the game, one thing and one thing only. Come on the hubs. Come on the high bees. Come on. Hi, folks. How are you all doing this evening? Well, guys. I've managed to bring you a good bit of news. We've only went and done it. We beat Hertz 1-0 at the Leaf San Siro today. Goal courtesy of my brother from another mother, Simon Murray. I to be honest, guys, I can't really talk about the match too much because, um, A, my voice is absolutely killing me. And to be, uh, B, it just seemed to, you know, the whole game went past me in an absolute blur. Um, from what I can remember of the game, Hibs done what we set out to do and that was we roughed up hearts we had so much width in the game we we Barker and um, Boyle on both sides the uh, hearts defenders just couldn't cope with them but I mean maybe uh, I don't want to seem like I'm looking at this through green tinted glasses or anything like that but that was as, as good a derby, for, derby performance as you're got to, you're got to get um, for 1 to 11 I couldn't pick out a, I couldn't pick out a bad player I couldn't pick out a weak link we started the game so quickly, um, go after three, four minutes, I think it was. So for us to then, you know, we started, as I say, started the game so, so quickly. Um, and just for there, we just didn't let up. Uh, the whole game just seemed to go, and it was every 50-50, every second ball, Hibs were winning. We were winning all the 50-50s. The midfield battle was just, as I say, was Hibs to win. Um, and it was... It was a game that it was hips to throw. It was hips to throw away, um, but we didn't do that. We just we done what we were meant to do. We stayed focused the whole game, and I'm I'm absolutely delighted. I'm absolutely thrilled that we've, that we've managed to get three points. We've taken a lot of lot of a lot of shit um, for heart supporters recently. When obviously we've had our blip in form. Um, Blip in form, and then obviously they had picked up a wee bit under Craig Levine. Um, but to me, I, I said it at the start when he, when Craig Levine appointed himself, I didn't see what he actually brought to Hearts, and I stick I stick by it. I, I just don't know what the guy brings to a football team. To me, his tactics are very negative. You know, the, the Hearts in the past, certainly when he was manager. Was all about it was all about blood and thunder. It was all about winning your your battles, winning your tackles, and just not being pushed off the ball. Hearts were so easily pushed off the ball today. I was so really shocked with how much how much time on the ball Hibs had. How much you know we were able to dictate play. John McGinn had a great game for me. Dylan McGeoch, I'm sorry, was a cut. He was a cut above the day. Absolutely superb. Um, and yeah, for me, we were we were fantastic. Start to finish today, we were fantastic, and I think if you're a, I heard Alan Stubbs talk about this when um, when I came home for the match, and um, you know we're you know, talking about it, and Alan Stubbs actually made a really good point. He said, if you're a heart supporter, what is there to actually cheer about your team, in terms of, you know, where's the drive, where's the goals coming for, because for that whole ninety minutes, Hearts just did not look like scoring, you know, and for me, we as I say. We done what we were meant to do. We got a goal in front. We sat. We controlled the game. We were contained. We kept our shape. Um, yeah, you know, as I say, as good a derby performance you will you will not see for for a long time. Um, but yeah, we're got as I say, guys. We've we've done what we were what we we're meant to do. Um, been fantastic talking to you, obviously. And I have to say, special mention to the hub supporters tonight. They were absolutely fantastic. For seeing the display before the game, if you've not seen it, I'd, I'd highly recommend you just go and have a look. Um, and then the whole, for 1 to 90, we just didn't stop singing. It was fantastic. Um, so, yeah, special shout out to the Hib supporters uh, tonight. Maybe I'm being a bit biased there, but I'm not really bothered. 
Um, but anyway, guys, I'm going to leave the vlog as it is now. You know, as I say, we're all happy. It's all good. Eight in a row. I'm beating in eight derbies now. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Remember, guys, one thing, one thing only. Come on the hubs. Come on the high bees.